thought I'd just share a couple of songs and, and some stories, and uh, and then and maybe we can pray a little bit. I uh, the first song I wanted to share for you is is actually a, it's not a song that I wrote. Um, in my head, I wasn't thinking that this song is really going to promote the culture of life. But uh, I just recently found a story that um, the song is called Turnaround, and it, it's just a song about repentance. <clears throat> Coming to understand that <clears throat> there, are, there are paths in life that you don't have to stay headed down. And I heard a story about a young man who was driving to a drug dealer, and he heard this song on the radio, and he, he turned around and went home. But then I recently heard a story about a young woman who was driving to an abortion clinic to have an abortion. And she heard this song and and um, and God just moved in her heart and she pulled over and broke down and sat there and then turned around and, and drove home and called the radio station and said, um, I just want to let you know you guys played this song and I'm keeping my baby. Wow. So um, I when I when I found out when I got asked to do this, you know, at first I was like, What? I'm a guy. But, <laughs> uh, but the more I thought about it, then I heard the story, I was like, absolutely. And so uh, this song's called Turn Around. Young man on the side of the road, lost in me.
<laughs> um, the next song I want to share with you is that it, both of these songs are from a new CD I have called The Love In Between, and a lot of it really was these songs were kind of shaped by me actually during the period of time when I fell in love with my wife and we got married. And um, because marriage, it changes everything, you know, um, fundamentally. Um, you know, at the heart of any healthy civilization is, is family. And without it, it, it falls apart. And, and what a family needs, it needs a man who understands what it means to be a man, but it, it des desperately needs a woman who understands all the genius and beauty of what it means to be a woman, you know? Because we're not the same, we're different, but we're supposed to celebrate that, you know? And, um, you know, um, there's equality, but there's differences. And um, and I, I, I've, I've learned to celebrate those, and I'm grateful that my wife has learned to celebrate those too. <laughs> um, but, uh, but the next song I want to share with you, um, it's a song um, I kind of wrote it, um, it was funny, I, I, uh, it was right at the tail end of um, 2010, and I've been married a couple of months. We just found out that we were expecting our first child at that point. Um, and, uh, but I was getting ready to make the CD, and I was just thinking about sort of the climate of our country, and, uh, and kind of where, where we are as a, uh, not just politically, but just sort of the, the social conscious, conscious, where is it? And it just feels like a lot of people feel like we're stuck, we just feel stuck in the country. And, um, and I know that when I look at the issue of abortion, um, I'll talk more about this a little bit later, but it, to me it's a symptom of it's just a, such a greater reality. It's a horrible symptom. But, um, but at the same time, you know, for such a hard time where faith seems like it's at an all-time low or, or it's not talked about in the public square, I just look at it and say, man, it's a tremendous opportunity for the church to be the church in the world. It's a tremendous opportunity for the church to rise up and, and to be that people. But it starts by us sort of individually having these moments where we're able to overcome the interior obstacles, whatever it is, if it's fear, if it's um, doubt, if it's, um, sometimes it's even depression. It's, you know, so, and I, I can't think of a better organization than a group uh, that promotes um, sort of the dignity, really, of womanhood. And what, because I just know, I, I'm getting text messages this morning from my wife, because she's, it's, it's a very small tent, but she's, she's putting her son on, on a sleeping schedule now. And um, they're, they're, <laughs> I don't have, I don't have the grace to do that. Um, but yeah, good luck, that's right. But, um, so I just know, it's like there's that great quote, you know, behind every great man, there's, there's a great woman. And um, I just think that um, that right now, is, we have a tremendous opportunity, not a tremendous disadvantage. We have a tremendous advantage to represent the gospel openly in society. And uh, I think women have a huge role to play in that. Um, just by who you are and the hearts that you have the way that God made you. You have a sensitivity that men just don't really have. <laughs> and it's so, it's, it's so needed. It's so needed right now. So um, so this song is um, called Rise Up. And uh, I was thinking of just the average person and the struggles they face and feeling like they're uh, kind of in a broken, stuck in a broken record of life. And maybe it's a young woman who has gotten to the point where she feels like abortion is a form of birth control. And, uh, and I think for her, God wants to use the church just to say to her, hey, open up your eyes. There's mercy. There's forgiveness. You don't have to stay stuck in this. You see the road ahead that you've been down before when you're halfway and you can't pay the toll You're hanging on the mercy Withering on the vine With your feet on the ground And your head in the clouds And your heart 